Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and today I'm gonna talk to you about some Sonoma SLG. So Vintage Coach Sonoma Line uh, Small Luxury Good Items, okay? And these are the few things that I'm gonna talk about today. And you might hear my dog prancing around the background. Sorry about that. Um, so recently in my Facebook group, I have a new Facebook group, it's called Vintage Coach Eye Candy please come over and join if you haven't done that yet. But um, I posted a, an old catalog photo, it was a Sonoma lineup, um, and I had quite a few of the items in this photo, so I decided to recreate the photo. Now here's the photo. I'm not gonna show you my recreation, you're gonna have to go to the Facebook group to see that, but I, um, I was missing a couple items. One of those was that swing wallet that you see, and I was like, I'm never gonna get one of those. I don't really care about it. Um, well, now I'm actually thinking I do want one of those. You're gonna have to watch another video that I will be posting here shortly. I actually haven't even recorded it yet, but that will give you the reason why now I want a Sonoma swing wallet, because I didn't for the longest time. But, so let's talk about these items. I will say, I'm gonna tell you what started my obsession. Um, these are both in my own collection, okay? Um, I'm a skinny case fan. I've done a video on that and the chunky case. I'm a big fan of those items. And these essentially are, well, this isn't technically, technically a chunky. We'll get into it. But these are like similar SLGs from the Sonoma line. And I had never really seen it or it just wasn't on my ring. Um, I got this super cheap. I think I paid $8 for it, guys. It was posted, and I, and I bought it quickly because somebody else might have recognized it. And I'll tell you why I was like, hmm, that might be real because there really wasn't any good photos. But I could see the pebbled leather, and then I could see this. And this is a solid brass, what do they call it? Like a solid brass Coach Logo zipper pull. This is very true to the Sonoma line. That does not mean that there's no fake lookalikes or similar lookalikes, but this is a very common thing. And with the pebbled leather, I was like, you know what? It's cheap. Um, I'm curious. I had never, at least I hadn't noticed it in any of the catalog photos, so I got it. And when I got this thing, one, I wasn't positive that it was authentic for a while. I had to research that, but I was just so impressed. It was so soft, so luxurious. I'm just taking some items out because I actually do use this. Um, and yeah, I was like, I was like, this is insane. But I thought I thought it was a, um, authentic just from other ones that I had. And it has that um, lining. You see that striped lining uh, that the Sonoma line does have. A lot of people might avoid Sonoma bags in general because they think, oh, they're lined, so they're not as good as other vintage coach. Don't think that, guys. I mean, if you don't like a lining, you don't like a lining but the lining is typically pretty easy to take out. The lining is, what do they say? It's stain resistant, it's dark, so you know it's really not gonna show stains. Stain resistant and it's water resistant. This lining is phenomenal. And again, in other bags, it pulls out, you can wash it. I always wash that separately and then I will take care of the leather on the outside. And the pebbled Sonoma leather, at least in natural green, it's just so, what word am I looking for? It's it's sturdy. It it's really very sturdy and it lasts the test of time. And it's luxurious to me. I love it. So I'm a huge Sonoma fan, if you haven't already told or could tell by that. And we're gonna look at some of the small luxury good items that I have in my possession right now. There are many, many more. We'll kind of talk about that. So um Back to that catalog photo that I did try to recreate, you're gonna see quite a few items in there. You're gonna see these two cases. So this one is a 4970 Sonoma skinny case, exactly like the regular skinny case, right? Except it's, um, and there is lining on the other skinny cases, right? You have that tick lining, but you have this nice dark lining here and you have this cute little zipper pull. I have never seen, now that I've been keeping my eyes open more, I haven't seen in a catalog photo and I haven't seen uh, for sale any of these with a hang tag. So I don't know that they actually came with a hang tag. I can't say that for sure. If the bags come with hang tags, I don't know, but I've never seen it. Um, if you know, because maybe you've purchased one like from Coach, you know, back in the day, then please let me know. Did these come with hang tags? Because none of my uh, Sonoma small luxury goods have come with hang tags, so. But yeah, skinny case. Isn't that cute? 
exact same size as the other skin case. I love that thing so much. And that was black. And then I have this. And I saw this on eBay. And it was an auction. And again, pictures were bad. People probably just didn't even know what it was. It can come off looking like some of the not vintage, but also not new, um, but maybe newer coach items, you know, because they done pebbled leather for a while. Um, yeah, so if you don't know, this is a vintage pool though, okay? The newer items are not gonna have that. I saw it and I, I could tell it was bigger. I saw the seam down the side from looking at catalog photos. I knew this thing existed after I found this one. This is a 4973 Sonoma cosmetic pouch. They said it was black. It's green and it's hunt. Um, I think I'm trying to call it hunter green. It looks hunter green. It's not hunter green. I think this is a forest green. You know what? I don't think I have my colors properly for this video. Um, so you're gonna have to come to that uh, Facebook group. I will eventually post something to try to identify the colors. Um, the difficult thing with the Sonoma colors is just every year they might have added other colors and I don't have this conglomerate of like what the Sonoma line um, leather colors were. So, but I'm, I'm actually now thinking, I think they actually called their dark green like this bottle green. But here it is. And this actually had some, and you might be able to pick it up better on video. I'm seeing maybe, no, you really can't see it. There's a little nick here. This had some like, you could see a lighter green. There were some nicks in this. All I did was condition it. And it looks great. You can't even see them. I can't even find them to show them, to point them out. I know they're there. There were nicks in there, but just conditioning it brought the color back. This leather is amazing, guys. But yep, yeah, here you go. You've got the same lining. Um, and something, I, this one pulls out. The skinny case didn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, this isn't terrible. Um, so the, the sew job on these, I don't think is, or like the, like the lining sew job, I don't think is the best. Do you see that? Like, come on people. That's a little messy, but whatever. And that's why I had to really make sure um, I was researching properly to determine that the skinny case was authentic. And it is, so. Uh, but yeah, 49.73 Sonoma Cosmetic Pouch. It's huge. This is not a chunky case, um, you know, Sonoma. I don't know that they had one. I haven't seen one, um, but it, it makes it feels like, you know, that size, that chunky case size. But it's a cosmetic pouch, and there are actually other cosmetic pouches. I have a lot more SLGs to show you. I've got a, quite a few different cosmetic pouches in different sizes to show you, and we'll do that eventually. But, ah, so happy to have this. I just can't even, I adore these pieces. Okay, sorry, that was a lot of talking about those little items. I guess you can see how much I love them. And then we're gonna talk about these guys. These are the last things I'm talking about today in this video. And they look the same, don't they? They're, they're pretty much the same size. They're Sonoma wallets. But if you hold them side by side, you can see that this one is bigger. And then you might have also caught on that the backs are different. So they actually are a little different wallets. I am not a fan of long wallets. I don't use big wallets anymore. I, I like small wallets. I like little compact wallets. I try not to carry too much stuff. I used to carry everything. And so I used to use the long wallets. I don't use them anymore, but I know some people are still huge fans. I still do balance the checkbook, but I keep that at home. I don't take it with me. So that's where these kind of things come in handy because you can hold checkbooks in them. So let's go over them. They are different. What are they? This, I'm not positive on the color again. I'm gonna call it stone right now. It's not quite bone. I think it's stone, if uh, Sonoma had a stone. But you have the thing about this one, this is a 4972 envelope clutch. Here's a picture, catalog picture. Yeah, and the significance of this, because like I said, these look very similar, right? They have that seam on the bottom, the flap is, just that pebbled natural green leather, but it has this open back pocket, okay? So it is a wallet, but it's also a clutch. You can use this as a little clutch, cute. And when you open it up, ah, it's leather lined. And I was looking to see it, cause I was like, is this some sort of special leather? 
The leather lining in these is so soft and luxurious. I thought it could be water buffalo. It doesn't say that in any of the catalog photos, so it's probably not. It might be a calf leather. It just says that they're leather and fabric lined because there is some fabric lining in these items as well. You can see that typical Sonoma fabric lining. Again, it's stain resistant and water resistant, but this leather that lines these items is luxurious, okay? It's beautiful. I don't know what color that is. It's tan, but look at all these pockets. What do we got? Six credit card slots. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then you have this zipper. So no outside solid brass coach pull, but there's one on the inside. So this wallet even has that little feature, that cute little feature. Um, the zipper pocket is leather lined. And this is in really good condition, guys. And then you have this gusseted pocket. Actually, you technically, maybe, is that considered two gusseted pockets? I would say so. One in the back of the um, pocket, zipper pocket, or what would you call that? Whatever, you, you see what I'm talking about, right? Um, and then one in the front. Can hold a lot. Can it hold a phone? Please pause, I'm gonna put my phone in it and see. Okay, well, I just put my phone in here. I have one of the biggest Apple phones there is right now. And yes, it fits with plenty of room. Uh, so yeah, you can even put a phone in here. So you can truly use this as a clutch, a hand clutch, but you can also use it as a very large wallet if that's your style. So again, 4972 envelope clutch. I don't see these too often. Maybe it's just because they haven't, they're not on my radar because they're, I don't like big wallets, but I happened upon this one. I'm so glad that I've gotten to see it. Um, it's a wonderful SLG. Okay, and then this guy, this is a black, 4966 Sonoma large clutch. So envelope clutch, 4966 Sonoma large clutch. And the difference, there's other differences, but the main one that you might just see based on like simple photos is that there's this zipper pocket, this coin pouch zipper pocket back there. Okay, with that brass pull. And this is essentially a checkbook wallet. And what I mean by that, though you can put a checkbook in here, this has those long slits, um, you know, for you to actually insert your checkbooks. And then it has this pen holder here, right? A little leather tab for your pen. So meant to truly be a checkbook. The leather is soft, luxurious, silky, smooth, love it. Um, and then on the outside is this pebbled. And this was used, I don't know if you can tell, there, there's some scratch marks um, and even maybe some like doling of that pebbled leather, but it still looks like it's in really wonderful condition despite that. So it's obvious that this has been used and yeah, it, it looks wonderful. So yeah, um, and the stitching is just done so well. And look what I also found in this one. I just, I forgot that I had found, found this, but I just saw it again. And a little inspection tag, I like to see those. So um, yeah, you got six credit card wallet. So you have this back wallet here. This is a gusseted pocket. So there's one gusseted pocket here um, to like load up stuff. Can my phone fit in here? Let me try it. Hold on. It did. My phone fit in this as well. So this can also essentially be used as a little clutch. It fit perfectly in here. It's still closed without any issues in that gusseted pocket. Again, I have a very large phone. Um, Again, I have, a, I have a video that I'm gonna show you. It's another reason why I want a Sonoma Swing Wallet now. Um, that makes me think, can I put phones, my phone in things like this? So that's why I checked it out. But yeah, you can use it as a wallet and you can use it as a clutch. That's how big these things are. Beautiful. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to not miss uh, new Vintage Coach content that I put out. And join, please come over and join my Facebook group, a Vintage Coach Eye Candy, so that you can peruse really cool pictures and hopefully get some new information to boot. Um, I really do try to put out information that might be wonderful for newcomers and newbies to Vintage Coach, but also to collectors, to people who've been doing this a while. If you also have stuff that you wanna share, put it out there. 
please, you know, contribute to the group with your own photos. That would be wonderful. All right, thanks, bye.